Hello and welcome to my first look at another novel. There's been a lot of books on this channel over the past week and this one is of a Warhammer Age of Sigmar novel, Bad Loon Rising and Scrog Rat and Scrog novel by Andy Clark. This book will cost you a whopping £18. It's made in China like they all are. They're all printed in China. Um, I'll read you the preface in a moment, but what I will say, uh, if you're just watching like the first minute or so of the video, is the paper quality is absolutely awful. It may even be worse than the paperback when they release the paperback. It's it's rough, it's um, a bit transparent, uh, it's not what you'd expect uh, from an £18 book at all. I think they've done well with the hardback, with the art and the actual quality of the hard hardback itself, you know, the hard part of the book. And the font isn't too bad either, but it's just the paper quality. I think one or two people have said before, Super, you don't have a clue about, you know, paper quality and printing, just how much it, it costs these days to make these books. Well, I'm sorry, fella. Um, if you can make this book, which has probably three times as many pages with better page quality and illustrations for two pounds more. Yeah, I just don't buy that as an excuse. Um, I think they're making these books now as cheap as possible to maximize that profit, which leaves a sour taste in your mouth if you spend 18 pound uh, on a book like this and the paper quality is just shocking. Not just compared to competitors, uh, but to you know other books that Games Workshop produce as well. And I really wish that they would have brought this out in softback, um, a little bit like Skarsnik, uh, in that format, that would have been cool um, for what, like the nine pounds or so, um, because you're, you're paying double, you want double the quality, I think. And the main reason people are buying the books and they're buying the hardbacks is because they enjoy the feel, Games Workshop, do you, are you, are you getting this message? Um, they enjoy the feel of physical books, otherwise they might just go and get digital versions from elsewhere instead um, and that's the reason why so make sure you're just producing a good product please let me read you the preface despite being gifted with superior cunning zograt was born a puny git with a gammy leg as the weakest runt of his tribe he was always one beating away from a nasty end until the bad moon bestowed on him a blessing now zograt wields the clammy hand <laughs> and backstabbing tribesmen scurry to his cause, afraid of the vengeances their new boss will inflict with his powerful magic. But for every grot suffocated with noxious fungi, Zograt stages a magnanimous gesture, for he is all too wary that power is fragile, yet in his heart boils an obsession to become the most formidable loom boss there ever was. And where better to proclaim his newfound majesty than the gloom-shrouded mountain of Muttering Peak? To lay claim to his throne, Zograt must first evade a sinister coven of wizards that wishes to harness the mountain's power for their own dark designs. But with his razor-sharp mind and a loyal Trogoth at his side, Zograt's ambitions may not be so daft after all. I, I like the colour of the book, like I, I like all of this ink that they've gone and the, I like the moon. The front is quite nice too, you know, um, you've got this Trogoth, I like the font there as well. Um, it's just a really nice colour. It reminds me of the, the other Gloomspike Git um, novel by Andy Clark as well. Uh, but the number of pages uh, in this book is... You've got a next read about Prince Mesa. Mesha, uh, 273 pages, so it's past the 250 sort of page page mark. It looks fine, uh, the font and the size and the layout, uh, it's just the paper quality really. It's first published in 2023, um, but yeah, it's just the paper quality. You'd expect this from like a, a, a paperback. I mean, you know, this is a paperback here and it's it reminds me of this. Um, it's so close to this paper quality. Um, if this is like the lowest um, you could possibly go for. Um, but yeah, um, just my thoughts on that. Uh, what do you guys think of Bad Loon Rising? Uh, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be good to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Loon King Protects.